And it's so cool. It's so cool. Hey guys, happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And let's talk about Robert Venditti. For those who don't know, Robert Venditti is most famous right now for How Jordan and the Green Lantern. He's famous for his Hawkman that's out right now, and he's famous for his Damage Run. But the most one that I like the most, that I got really introduced to him with, is his Green Lantern Run. Mainly because this is what happened. For those who don't know and who want to get into the Green Lanterns, you guys gotta realize, Jeff Johns is the one that made it popular. He's the one that expanded the whole mythos, the whole colors of lights and everything. You gotta read Blackest Night to understand that stuff. But really you have to understand his whole run. Sinestro War, Blackest Night, Brightest Day, uh, The War of the Lanterns, it's, it, The War of Light, it's, oh, it's so good. But, um, after that, after the New 52, his New 52 got done and he said, the end, we were like, we were all like, okay, who's going to pick up the slack? Who's going to pick it up? Robert Venditti. Who's Robert Venditti? I've never heard of this guy. Can he top Jeff Johns? Can he keep on track with Jeff Johns? And guys, I have to say, he does it. The first volume kind of was kind of, you know, building up what he wants to make. And then the second volume hit after this, and really it's the fourth, the new 52, it's the fourth volume, then the fifth volume, and then the sixth, and it just got so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I was surprised, I was like, man, this guy, has, this guy has become one of my favorite writers. I will pick up anything Robert Venditti now. Like, honestly, if you guys haven't read Hawkman, speaking of which, Hawkman Day, National Hawkman Day, November 10th. Remember it. Go get it. I'm going to be doing a special video on that. Uh, just celebrating it. Because I've become a Hawkman fan ever since Robert Mediti it, wrote it. And now I want to read everything Hawkman. It's awesome. Uh, but his Green Lantern run is so good that they kept him on it when he did Rebirth and he did Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns. And the coolest part about it is if you read his New 52, it leads up to it. It's so good. I mean, spoilers on this, but like the first volume of the, his Rebirth is literally Hal Jordan making a ring, out, like a, a Green Lantern ring, out of his own willpower. It is so badass. He has become living will. He's a construct. He's a living construct. And it's so cool. It's, oh, it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, the whole war in it, oh, sorry. It's just, I'm geeking out here, but it's just, the whole war and everything that happens in that, and just like the whole story on that is so good. Robin and Diddy just does a fantastic job just building up and giving the excitement and just driving and driving and driving. And he just uh, recently actually just finished his final arc on the whole Hal Jordan and uh, Green Lantern Corps. It was on issue 50. If you follow me on Snapchat, I uh, did, did my review on it. It was a great send-off, great comic, and now Green Lantern is going into the hands of great Grant Morrison. It's going to be good, I think, but we'll see. But anyway, his damage run. So, for those that don't know, there was a series called Metal, and don't worry, we will be covering it. That is coming in October. Uh, what that was, was that opened the Dark Multiverse, and during that, uh, the whole split of the Dark Mouth first, everything opening up, there were some uh, heroes that got powers. There, this is what we call the New Age of, of Heroes. And that was like some new characters, technically they're kind of like Marvel, <laughs> um, that were, that got like basically a revamp. And what he did was damage. Damage is essentially, if you guys want to think about it, it's DC's Hulk. Kind of same story. Uh, except it's not a scientist who gets it. It's a it's a soldier that gets a serum that he has like an hour like the then there's a government control. There's a general that wants to control him and everything else. It's the girl though, um, and they're trying to like really do it. And he's like, you know, he communicates in there, and it's really cool. It's a really good concept. It was a really good comic. I mean, honestly, like. I was surprised because I heard about this and the first thing I saw was Reverend Venditti. I'm like, okay, I gotta check it out. It's Venditti, you know? And he did a good job. I love what he's doing. For those who don't know, the other heroes is Sideways, also known as <laughs> DC Spider-Man. He's literally that. He's literally Spider-Man. He's a guy who can uh, tear through uh, walls. He can teleport. 
uh, and go into different dimensions. But uh, he has the mouth of Spider-Man. He looks kind of like Spider-Man. And then there's the Terrifics, written by, written by Jeff Lemire. Uh, the Terrifics are the Fantastic Four. Um, and then there's Silencer, which is essentially Black Widow. And am I missing one? There's a new Challengers, and there's a couple other ones that really kind of, I don't know that much. The new Challengers is one of them, written by Scott Snyder for a bit. And then um, there was, oh, what was it? There's other ones that I can't think of right now. Um, but one of them I know is like like Doctor Strange and like Loki and like the mystic stuff. Like it's literally that, but it's not called like, you know, it's not Doctor Strange Loki. But anyway, sidetrack, Robert Venditti. Damage run, awesome, really good. And then his Hawkman came in. Now, for those who don't know, that's also off metal. It came right off metal. No, I got the first, uh, I got the first one and the second one of Hawkman, but I didn't pick it up, it up until I got my trade of the Dark Knight's Metal Resistance because that one had the Hawkman Found issue one. So I had to read that before I read this. And man. Is it good? Like, I am really enjoying it. For those who don't know, Hawkman is a guy who basically, he, Prince Khufu, he, uh, basically gets reincarnated. He dies and, uh, re gets reincarnated with his wife, uh, Kendra Saunders, also known as, shit, also known as Kendra Saunders, if you guys know that, but, uh, she gets reincarnated with him. And the cool part about it is just like what Robert Van Diddy's doing in this is like he's expanding on everything. Like the first one you see is his past lives and it's just all these Hawkman. But like I swear there's one that people are theorizing and, and actually he I think he answered that. He said it could. Like apparently <laughs> Hawkman was Carter Hall was apparently the Phoenix at one point. Because he's wearing like the same Phoenix garb. Like, honestly, like he said it could be. And then he was the Rocketeer, and he could do all these things. He was apparently Kryptonian at one point. I was like, what? And uh, if you follow Hawkworld, he made this little chart uh, on Twitter. Um, he was apparently, I didn't know this, and this is so cool. He was apparently, like, I think it was his uh, Jonathan Kent's, like, like Clark Kent's dad grandfather or great-grandfather I was like what <laughs> this is awesome but like Robert Van Diddy's doing a cool job just expanding on the whole kind of more mythos of of Hawkman and it's so enticing and so good I mean if you guys aren't picking up those comics you really need to I mean honestly pick up his Hawkman pick up his damage if you like Hulk and you want it but you're like I like you're like a DC fan pick up damage so good. So good. I mean, just, oh. And if you're a fan of the Green Lantern, and you have read Jeff John's run, read Hal Jordan. If you want to get more into it, for for Green Lantern fans, I'll just say this right now. Read Sinestro War, read Blackest Night, read um, Brightest Day, War of the Lights, and you should be fine. Then you can just read his new 52 run. I know that's like a lot. But after that, you'll be caught up. You'll be caught up after that. It's only like three volumes for his new 52 run, I think. Yeah, three volumes. Because Robin Dene started on the fourth. And then just, you know, if you want to read Ben... And then if you want to read Ben these things, do it. Honestly, it's so good. It is so good. It's just amazing. I mean, honestly, I can't believe, like, how good of a comic it is. And how good Hal Jordan. I'm collecting them in trades. There's some I have actually in singles. But I'm mainly collecting in trades right now. And I can't wait. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Friday video. This writer uh, spotlight. I'm going to be doing more of these once a month. And you know. I really enjoy doing these comics. I really enjoy the writers. That's why I will pick up some of them. And I want to know. Who is your favorite writer? Let me know down in the comments down below. Is it Donny Cates? He's awesome. Robert Venditti, Jeff Johns. For me, Robert Venditti, Jeff Johns, Donny Cates. Right now, I'll pick up anything of those. Uh, for the uh, DC, for any of those guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good Friday. Hope you have a good weekend. And take care. Peace out.